Okay, just turn off your ignition. The first thing to do is we're gonna remove the steering wheel center. This just prizes off with your hands. There's one wire attaching it for the horn. It's a bit fiddly, so uh, yeah, just remove it gently. Okay, now just take out the two springs for the horn, so you don't wanna lose those. And ideally, you should be using a socket for this, but I have a small tool kit in the van, so uh, I'm using a big spanner. All right, just take off that center nut. Now your steering wheel may not have been taken off recently. It might be much harder to come off than this. It's just a bit of brute force to, to, to get it off. Okay, my column only has two screws holding it in. One on the left and one on the right. Just unscrew both of those and it should come apart. There's one wire attached to the bottom, I think it's for attaching a computer to, to read uh, what's going on in the engine. I'm not sure, you can see it there at the bottom, hanging down. Okay, so next up, you have three torque headed uh, bolts holding this together. Luckily it comes with a flat head as well, so a flat head will, will remove the three of those and you can start to disassemble then, take off your uh, indicator stalk. To prise it off, it's, it's fairly easy to take off. Okay, I'm just here, I'm just checking to make sure I've got the right part. And it looks the same, except it's a little bit longer. It's a, it's a spurious part from mixgarage.com. Not sponsored. <laughs> Cost about 20 euro. Okay, there's four electrical connectors on the back of this. Two on the left and two on the right. They're a bit fiddly to get off. Um, um, but once you do, they're handy enough to get back on. So out the old part, it was full of grease in the middle and this is why it was causing it to short. Uh, uh, the new bit goes on, a little bit of pressure and it sits on quite neatly. Pop your four electrical sockets back in. Remember the red is on the right in this model. Anyway, this is a 1999 T4 transporter. Okay, once they're back in, Pop your indicator stalk back on. Oh yeah, check it out, works. Okay, you can see where that just slots in and just presses home nice and gently. Shouldn't, shouldn't have to be forced. Okay, once that's in, we're gonna put our three bolts back in with our flathead. Just tighten them all nice and evenly and then do a final pinch on them. Again, doing this right, you should have a torque wrench and getting all your torques right, but... It's a DIY job, it's uh, limited tools. <laughs> okay, everything's working quite nicely there now, all back together. Put our console back on, this can be a bit fiddly, you could probably do it an extra hand for doing this. Uh, there's that wire I was telling you about, just popping that back in. Move the keys out of the way. Okay, just line them up. It'll be fairly obvious once they're together right. And it pays to have a magnetic screwdriver for this. This is just a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, the magnet helps just keep that screw in place while you're holding the console. tighten to a pinch, don't over tighten again because it's all plastic down here and it can easily break. Now your console may have more screws in it, there's only two in mine, that's the way I got it. Okay, that's all looking good, so I'm gonna pop the steering wheel back on. Uh, the, the key to doing this right, so your steering wheel is straight, is to Wherever you park, drive in a straight line and, and make sure it's straight before you take it off. Or else you can use something on the back, a little bit of chalk to, 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 to draw a line between the console and the steering wheel. 
All right, once everything's nice and tight, you're gonna pop your horn cover back on. This can be very fiddly. Uh, don't forget your springs too, otherwise it won't work properly. Yeah, there's a knack to doing this. It'll only kind of fit one way because the wire is so short, so uh, try it a few different ways until you get it right. And then it just presses home when you put it the right way up. <laughs> Okay, now time to look for a fuse. These are some of the fuses I've gone through with this problem. So no more fuses. Ew. So when you're changing the fuse, it's the fifth one from the left. It's a 15 amp fuse. If you have this problem, I'm sure you know that and you're sick and tired of changing them. Okay, once that's in, fire her up and check everything's working. Woohoo, wipers. And washers. Happy days, happy driving.